Buckle up for gay camping at America's favorite LGBT campground. You ready? Let's go. Hey guys, two gay expats here. I'm Andy. And I'm Trey. Today we are heading to Sawmill Campground in Dade City, Florida. When I called to make the reservation, the cheerful greeting proudly highlights Sawmill as the recent winner of the best gay campground in North America, as well as the best gay campground for entertainment. So we're super excited to check it out. It's our first time gay camping together. Or glamping. So where is Sawmill? Sunny Florida, of course. It's an easy drive from both Tampa or Orlando. We flew into Orlando International Airport. Sawmill is located 66 miles west of the airport and the drive takes approximately an hour and a half. Hang a left on Banana Road once you see the sign for Sawmill with the rainbow flag, just in case there's any doubt. On arrival, you'll find Lucy's General Store just outside the security gate where you check in for your stay or grab a day pass. Either way, you'll purchase an annual membership if you don't have one already. At Lucy's, you'll find last minute items like sunglasses, towels, sunscreen, and mosquito repellent to make your stay more comfortable. There's also an ATM, although cards are accepted everywhere. Next, we collect our keys at security and drive around to find our air conditioned cabin. We immediately see a handful of LGBT flags welcoming us to Sawmill we can definitely confirm it's an inclusive environment at Sawmill with all ages, races, body types, you name it, it's here. As we continue on Banana Drive, our first impressions are that it's a gorgeous property and much larger than we expected. We also notice a wide variety of accommodation types. Sawmill offers these colorful luxury cabins with private bathrooms as well as standard cabins with shared bathrooms. You can also rent one of the model homes, camp in a tent, or pull up your own RV with hookups. There's truly something for everyone at Sawmill. Our standard cabin is perfect for us. It's also the only cabin option available to enjoy with your pet. When we made our reservation, we thought we might bring our dog Patty along with us. The standard cabins are located directly across from the well-maintained shared bathrooms and showers and the pool is just out the door on the other side. Our cabin, named Princess Di, also comes equipped with an AC and a small microwave and fridge. We immediately drop our bags and head to the pool for drinks at the Tiki Bar. Then it's time to explore. How gorgeous is this view? Absolutely beautiful. You'll also find the nature trails over here, which wrap around the backside of the lake. There's a lot to explore here for sure. So what do you think so far? Oh, it's really awesome. The grounds are super expansive. Uh, there's lots of trails. Patty would love the trails. We're right now in front of Ricky Lake. There's a beautiful fountain. There's some birds. What a great name too, Ricky Lake. All the streets and everything has really fun names. Where are we staying? We are staying in uh, Princess Diana Cabin. There's also Jackie O, I saw Lucille Ball. Elton John. <laughs> Super fun. Whoever he is. <laughs> They're amazing. You can actually camp. There are amazing um, setups of RVs that people have really done incredible jobs with the lights. There are golf carts everywhere. How Some of the locals, I guess, that have been staying here for long term get around. But the pool is for sure the favorite. There's a DJ. It's a lot of the fun. The pool's where to be. <laughs> the pool is definitely where to be. drag show or bingo. <laughs> and that's for later tonight there's gonna be a drag show. We had an absolute blast at the high energy drag show with a couple of super fun new friends we made at the pool earlier. The show at Woody's nightclub is spectacular and includes a diverse group of incredibly talented performers. In the same complex as Woody's you will also find Blade Billiards Hall and the outdoor cigar bar with signs highlighting some of the benefits of this very open accepting and entertaining place. 
Also for food options, there is Splash Bar right next to the pool. We really enjoyed their club sandwich and tater tots. That seems to be one of the most popular items on the menu, but we tried a number of things from quesadillas and they have frozen drinks as well. You can get a Miami Vice. There's lots of beers on draft. It's the best flat we thought for lunch. After the weekend, things slow down considerably. There are plenty of loungers for everyone during the week, and we are enjoying relaxed days with sunsets by the pool. There is still nightly entertainment, of course, and the weekly schedule is posted all around the resort. Tonight, we're heading to the popular bingo, which clearly brings out all of the long-term residents. We grab our bingo cards and a couple of beers. Almost immediately, Andy is pulled up on stage, which earns us five free drink tickets, and then unbelievably, he wins the grand prize in the raffle for a free stay. But the drag queen doesn't let Trey off so easy. He's up next. So one of the things we've learned so far at Sawmill is the weekends are pretty wild. There's usually a DJ, massive pool party, the tiki bar is open, a ton of fun. And then it's a little more low key during the week. And we actually went to the last bingo of the season um, last night. And we thought, oh, it's a little more tame. And then it turned out to be an absolute blast. We ended up winning a bunch of free drinks. We won another stay here for three nights and two days in the raffle. Andy won that. We both got called up on stage at different times. Times. We had, I think they were doing like multiple body shots off of me for charity with different patrons, which was really fun. And both of the drag queens, I think you said your favorite part was when, because uh, obviously I couldn't see anything like on the table, but well, she whipped off her uh, <laughs> wig to uh, go participate in charity. Oh my gosh. It was such a good time. We had an absolute blast. So yeah, highly recommended, even though it's a little more low key during the week to stick around for a few days if your schedule allows it. We definitely are glad we did. Well, it's our last day here at Sawmill. What has been your favorite experience so far? Definitely the drag bingo. <laughs> and it's really, it's really nice on the weekdays. Um, you definitely find an opportunity to meet a lot of people because mm -hmm. um, it's a lot more chill. Yeah, totally. Where are we headed next? Uh, we are headed to Orlando tomorrow. We are going to check out one park at Universal Studios and one park at Walt Disney World. It's also one magical weekend, as well as gay days at Disney, and it's going to be a lot of fun. For sure. Well, thanks for joining us on our first gay camping trip. For more travel inspiration, visit our website at twogayexpats.com and follow us on your favorite socials at twogayexpats. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Hasta luego.